I'd like to show you a metaphor example for the concept of raising exemptions and handling exceptions. Suppose we have a welder, and the welder has the task to weld these pipes. And, um, well, if everything is all right, they continue their work. But some problems may arise, some issues may happen that will force them to stop welding. So if everything is all right, what they're doing, they're welding the pipe. But uh, normally what they have to do, they actually have to try to weld the pipe until there's an issue, and if there's an issue, they stop and they handle that issue. So we say they try welding the pipe, except when there is an issue, then they stop welding and they do something to fix that problem. Now, if they know what kind of problems may occur that they would like to handle, then they have a plan. And the plan is, I'll try to weld the pipe, except when, for example, they have melted metal dripping, then I stop welding and I wipe out that melted metal. Or, if there is a problem with the electrode, the electric arc has an electrode, and the electrode breaks, then I stop welding, of course, and I'll change a new electrode. So if a different problem happens that I haven't planned for, for example here, while I'm welding, I press too hard with the electrode, whatever, and a hole, ha the, the, a hole appeared in the pipe, I didn't plan for it. It's not just melted metal dripping, it's not that the electrode broke, I have a hole in the pipe and I didn't plan for it. Obviously I have to stop welding and I need to handle it but I don't know how to handle it. So in that case I have to pass that problem to somebody else. I'll call my supervisor and say here I have a, a problem, I don't know how to handle it. And it's the supervisor that will try to handle it either directly or pass it to somebody else. And a similar thing happened in Python. When you have uh, a method executing, and some code is executing, and there's an issue, an exception happens, the execution stops, and we have to handle that exception. If we handle it on the spot, that's fine, then we proceed. If we don't know how to handle it, that method doesn't know how to handle it, it'll pass it to the method that called it. Remember the calling stack? Then we'll have to pop from that calling stack a method and say, here's the exception, you handle it. If that method plans for handling that exception, that's great, it's handled. Otherwise, we'll have to pop another method from the calling stack and say, you handle it. And it goes on like this. It bubbles up in that calling stack until it is either handled by a method that planned for it or no method knows how to handle it and the program crashes.